So in my last video, I said I had a new airbrush compressor on the way, so it finally came. Um, not endorsed or paid or anything for for this, but uh, if you guys want to watch this, uh, we'll do an unboxing. So let's get into it. So I have a pair of scissors here and trusty exacto knot. We'll get this thing out of the way. Cut these banding straps. in there so put this back out of the way oh oops that looks like the rubber uh, feet keep it from vibrating so and the instructions who needs those right so uh it's a 4.7 gallon compressor twin pump the air inlet is filtered uh it's already regulated but i'm going to run another regulator to have right here the only thing I'm waiting on right now is for some reason still hasn't shipped is the moisture trap slash filter so just waiting on that uh, and it'll be time to get this thing set up so if you want to continue watching I'll video the process of putting the feed on So let's get this thing lifted up here. And get this stuff out of the bag. Make sure you guys are in the view. Oh yeah. Move it back. Sorry, trying not to move it too much. This is a good thing about having a workbench in the house, huh? Get all this stuff out of here real quick. Empty bag now. So it looks like there's four bolts and nuts for these rubber feet so if you guys want to watch I'll get these on here and this looks like a muffler could be wrong oh no this is the air filter that's right duh Let's see if it's got a Replaceable filter, yeah. That's gonna come in handy. So, get the instructions out. Got an Allen key here. I'm not sure what that's for just yet. Of 
quick start guide here. Clear hose and the air filter. So go ahead and put that on there. Looks like I'm going to have to spin it around for the air filter. Take his hose back out for now. Doesn't say anything about any Teflon. Hand tighten only. Got that on there. So that's that. saying to go ahead and turn it on now but I would rather get these feet on here first so carefully put it on its side this compressor requires no oil so uh, nothing to worry about there thumb through the instructions first see if there's a specific way they recommend to put the bolts and nuts No specific way. So, let's wing it. It's actually gripping the bolt enough that I can just hand tighten it. It's pretty tight. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. If it does, I can always get some tools out of the shed later on and tighten it up properly. If you see there, make sure you guys see it. That was gripping on the rubber enough to be able to turn it by hand, so it's pretty good. Turn it on around here a little bit so you guys can see. Make sure it's not going to fall. And as, I mean, I'm happy with that. very fortunate enough to be able to upgrade from the Harbor Freight compressor to something like this. Um, those who know me know I strive and I'm very picky about my paint. And the, the type of airbrush that I prefer using, especially when I clear, uh, it's a single action external mix so it requires a lot more air pressure than an internal mix if you don't know the difference between internal and external I'll show you guys real quick
basically what it is. Uh, your air and your paint mixture will mix outside of the gun or the brush. Internal mix would be I don't have one easy to get to right now. Uh, an, an internal mix would be like a the ones with the cup on top. Or if the paint and the air mix uh, from this point back. So these require a good bit more air because it has to siphon the, the paint out. So that's the main reason for getting a, a much larger compressor than what's really needed. Plus when you compare to the prices of a, a better airbrush compressor or a specific airbrush compressor, this is the cheaper way to go. If you're interested in this, you can go to Home Depot's website. And this particular one, I'm not sure if it's on sale, but the price as of right now is $140 with free shipping. And if you've uh, looked up the price of uh, airbrush compressors, you know that's, that's a heck of a deal. So let's get it set back up right here. Uh, I'm going to spin it around one more time. And as you can see, right here is the uh, main pressure gauge. And then here is the uh, attached regulator. But I'm going to run another regulator on over here. So uh, I'm going to get it set up to where we can turn it on. And uh, let's see how loud it is. It is approximately 4 a.m. right now. I haven't been off work long. If you hear a scream and a, a really loud thud on the floor, it just means my wife has killed me. So no worries. But uh, this is not supposed to be any louder than than this right, this thing right here. And we'll do a comparison so I'm gonna get set up and see you guys in a minute okay so both are plugged up we all know about what these sound like so just flip it on you guys heard it so now let's flip this one on and let's go ahead and not too bad uh, about the same loudness as my booth uh, a lot quieter than a shop back that's for sure and uh, when I clean the booth my paint booth over here uh, I use the shop back it's pretty loud I usually just shut this door and uh, the wife has told me she's she's not heard it so it's a good thing so see if it gets any louder as, as it fills up. It's not vibrating too bad. It doesn't look like it's going to take long to fill all the way up either. That's pretty good. things the pop-off valve I can deal with that so uh, hope you guys like the video I know it's 
not model related, but I was excited to get this thing out of the box. Uh, hopefully the the moisture trap will get here soon and uh, I can get this thing set up to uh, start doing some more painting. Uh, I mainly needed it for the clear, but like I said, uh, I'm real picky about how my paint turns out anyway. And with this one down here, having some uh, trash spit out through the airbrush, I'm not having it. Uh, live and learn, I guess. Uh, it served its purpose for what it was for for uh, for what I could afford at the time. Uh, so, uh, who knows, I, I still may use it for something, uh, but I'm really, really happy and excited to have this. Uh, I believe, I don't believe the, uh, it will have to kick on very much during the process of painting. So, uh, I'll be excited to get the rest of it set up and get it ready for airbrushing. And I don't have to uh, only use this for airbrushing. I could use it for other things too. So. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you uh, on any kind of decision. Uh, if you're, if you're, you know, where I was, it took me a month to decide what I wanted to do. I was thinking about just getting another one of these. Then I was looking at, you know, proper airbrush compressors, and just wasn't happy with uh, the flow uh, for the price. So. Uh, I decided to go this route, so uh, I'll see you guys next time.